Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this episode, we're going to have a short video regarding on how to hide the cancel button in AppSheet. So we're gonna hide the cancel button form in the form view. So for those who don't know yet how to hide or to rename the cancel button, so this video is for you. For those who knows already, then you can skip to the next video. All right, in order to do that, to hide the cancel button in a specific form view in AppSheet, first we have to go to our app editor. So in, in our app editor, we have to go to our UX. So we need to know what is the view name first. So since I wanted to hide the inventory, inventory here, so I'm gonna hide the inventory form, all right? So this one, when you, when you click plus sign, so this is the inventory form. So I want to hide the cancel button. To do that, go to UX, then localize, and look for the name cancel. So let's look for the cancel. Here's the cancel. Then we're going to apply a expression in cancel button. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to use is we're going to use if statement. Then we're going to use the I N. So in context view. Context. Then view. All right. Then comma. Then we're going to use the word, um, the expression list. So what is the view name? So the view name is inventory underscore form. So this is this is the the view that I wanted to hide the the, the cancel button. Then you're gonna use if it's an inventory form view, then uh, keep it blank. Otherwise, give it cancel. All right, so let's try and save. As you can see, if I go to my inventory, then I, I click the plus sign, I can see the cancel button. So now let's save that one, okay, and refresh the app. Okay, now let's try. As you can see, it hides the cancel button. If you want to rename it, you can just uh, so instead of, of empty, you can name this as let's say use the double quote, say back. Okay, so I name it as as a as back, and then let's. Let's refresh. Okay. So you can see it's name back here. So what if you wanted to you wanted to do it in a multiple view? So this one here there is still a cancel button. Okay. So I wanted to do it, let's say, in some of the view, let's say. I want to hide the cancel button also in sale. So you have the thing you have to do is just simple. So let's rename this as empty. So you can just here in the next one, just put a comma here, then double quote. Then what is the the name that you wanted to add? So this is a sale form. So you may want to hide it. So we want to hide the cancel form. So, I mean, the cancel button. So, sale underscore form. Okay. Then, save it. Then, let's refresh. Okay. So, in the inventory... When we click plus sign, 
so it hides the cancel button and then in the sale when we click the plus sign for the form view just a second it's stuck <laughs> it's stuck okay just wait it's freeze let's refresh okay okay see in sale it's also hide so but there is one view that we did not add so here is the add stocks you can still see the cancel button so this is how you're gonna hide or rename the cancel button okay guys so if you learned something in this video please don't forget to subscribe or comments if you have any question and see you next time in my next video